have some great news. Baby A is coming back from the hospital today. Let's get started. So yes, it has been two and a half weeks that baby A was first in the NICU. Now, she, she, since she's been transferred to just the regular inpatient uh, portion of the hospital, um, and today she's coming home. Right now it is 5.30. Um, because she's weaning off her last medication, they asked me to pick her up later in the evening. So I'm gonna be picking her up today around between seven and nine o'clock depending on when I can get there. Uh, I'm gonna try and avoid traffic and things like that. Uh, baby R is just watching some TV. <laughs> Jumping on the bed. So yeah, he's doing his thing. I'm trying to get things cleaned up as much as possible. I've done a ton of laundry here. Gonna put all that in the dryer. Remember, I bought this little sucker right here. Uh, and then I just take it down the hall to the dryer. I got all these dishes to go put us put away. Um, and then I'm going to uh, get her crib set up. I'm probably gonna, I never sleep in my room. I never do. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm getting up so much in the middle of the night. I don't want to wake R up. And um, so I always, I literally always sleep on the sofa. And obviously with a newborn, she's 22 days old today, I believe. Um, you don't want, you need to sleep with them next to you. So I'll probably just have the bassinet in the, uh, in the living room right next to me and just get her crib set up so that the crib is in the room with me. That's about it for now. What is this kid doing? I thought you were watching your show. Oh Lord have mercy. That's it for now. So it's just going to get stuff cleaned up and then we're going to head out. Um, see you guys at the hospital. I'm excited. It's exciting to have her back. Well, we are here. We're back at Children's Hospital. We're gonna pick up baby A. You ready to go see her again? Remember you loved her when she was first here. Um, yeah, we're gonna go pick her up and get home. It's almost nine o'clock. He took a long nap in, the, um, in his crib earlier today. So I think he's up for a little bit. I'm getting a little more tired. <laughs> I have a whole night ahead of me because I just gotta get her adjusted again and do the every three hour feeding. So hopefully you're gonna go right to bed when you get home, right? Right to bed. I see that little smirk of yours. He's like, <laughs> you silly, silly man, you. All right, I'm gonna get him in the stroller and we're gonna head upstairs. Look how good you look, baby girl. You're so happy. Yeah. Hi. All this, what is all this moving around you're doing? What's all this moving around you're doing? Who said you could move around this much? Who said that you're allowed to move around this much? Oh, and who, who undid your diaper like that? Someday. Who did that? I just wanna oh my God, she's so beautiful. You look again. so healthy. So happy. Yeah, baby girl. Mm. Yeah, is it a smile? Oh, oh yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah. Hey, buddy. You ready to see your sweet? You ready to see your sweet? Let's give you that pacifier. And the nurse is gonna come and get you. And then we're gonna get on out of here. We're gonna bust this joint. We're gonna bust this joint. Yeah. Hey, we're leaving. We're leaving. Bye, everyone. Yay, we did it. Look at this little lady, she's looking. <laughs> so guess who's home? We're home. She's like eating, but she's 
she doesn't want to like burp. You've got to burp. We're almost finished that bottle. Yeah. She's got a strong neck, y'all. So we're home. <clears throat> Baby R is in bed. Um, he passed out in the car and then right when I put him in the crib. I'm glad she's home. I did get the house slightly more clean. I mean, it's still pretty dirty. I did get up McDonald's and got a coat right there. <coughs> was craving that but um so here's the plan I'm gonna help I'm gonna she's gonna finish this bottle she's got about half an ounce left I'm trying to give her a little break and then um I'm gonna swaddle her up and she's going to sleep and I'm going to sleep and we will do this again in three hours so <laughs> she's just doing so much better y'all if you watched the last video you know, like it was, it was rough in the NICU and stuff. But she's, when I got to the hospital today, her eyes were open and her, she had her hands up in the air and just like looking around. I was feeding her and she was looking at me. I mean, she's just a different baby. It's really cool. They did such a good job at Children's. <sighs> Tired, y'all. <laughs> right, let me get, let me get her done feeding. Hey, old lady. Somebody had a poop after their bottle. Uh huh. Someone had a poop after their bottle. Yeah. And they're just awake and using their legs and their arms. Yes, they are. Oh, we got some spit up there, everyone. So I got her these pacifiers that I've been waiting to open for two and a half weeks. Just because I wanted her, I don't know, just wanted her to have something new when she came. Do you wanna do the blue one? Blue or teal? I like, oh, it's blue. It's like a blue teal. Um, so super flexible. That's a fire. Four. Zero to three months. Here you go, baby girl. Oh, yeah. Watch how fast she takes that. Here you go. Yes. Oh, yeah. Why'd you spit it out? These are so weird how you can see in there. I don't know why they make them like that. It's weird. You don't like it? She might not want it. <laughs> they don't help your hiccups, I promise. some more burping we've got her all swaddled up um, she's just gonna sleep in this bassinet tonight with me uh, I'm because like I said I always sleep on the sofa one I actually like sleeping on the sofa and two like I said earlier I just don't want to wake a baby up or him honestly sometimes like him waking me up when you know he just like wakes up in the middle of the night and whines. It's like, he's fine. He falls right back to sleep. So, she'll be right over here and I'll be per my usual. But, oh, so time it is. It is 11.31 p.m. I gotta get up in, a, I think, like two hours. I set the echo to um, wake me up. Other than that, I'm really happy she's home. It was nice to just, like, put baby R to sleep. And then I was able to change her and just like start that bonding process. And you know, guys, I'm not gonna lie. 
there was a there's so there's stuff going on with DCFS in regards to one of the cases and as exciting as it is to pick her up from the hospital it's like you still have this like thing on your mind and what you're dealing with and what's what's what can be stressful you know and it's, it's easy to be like oh you see what foster families go through and there are things that foster parents go through that you know biological parents that still have cussy or regular just parents don't don't go through um but then there's things like today where like the other case is really difficult right now but so it's managing the, the lows of that those feelings of that and the emotions with the highs of like wow baby a is like coming back today from the hospital and not only that, like she's so happy and vibrant and her eyes are always open. When she first came to me, she never opened her eyes. So, like that's something that I think all family, all parents can relate to. Like if you have multiple children and one's going through something but you wanna keep the other child like still uh, happy and not feel the weight of what's going on in the family dynamic or with the other child. But anyway, I'm hope I'm glad she's here. I'm, I really want to do a Q and A video. Um, I do have like questions that people ask me often, um, and so I do want to do that. I think next week I'm gonna do that because I've gotten a lot of I've gotten a lot more questions from people. But also like please like comment below and let me know. Do you have any specific questions about? foster care, the foster to adopt process, parenting for me, what it's like, you know, I always get that. How do you do this with two kids and being single and all that jazz? Um, and then also if you, if you watch, if you go to Instagram, um, the gays with kids Instagram, I'm doing, this is foster care awareness month. So every Friday we're featuring a, a new foster parent and I'm hosting like this Kevin talks foster care and I kind of like just chat with another foster parent um, who has gone through this process, who's adopted through this or whatever their story might be. So you can check out that on Fridays at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you for watching and man, now we just start life. <laughs> Oh my god, this is this is just like <laughs> I don't know. It's just like wow. It's beautiful. Bye guys. I love you. Peace out. <laughs>